right now, you have a small number of liberal elites, relatively small number of liberal elites, who make most of the decisions, and we don't really have very much say about it. And if we raise any problems with it, they'll probably be spying on us like they are on Tucker Carlson. And the American people, of all shades, of all sexes, of all geographies, they are pushing back against this kind of thing. They're pushing back against critical race theory, right? That is now sort of the lightning rod because it is the, the expression of these insane, vile, racial ideologies that tell Americans, tell white Americans and anyone who agrees with any conservatives <laughs> that they are vile. So black people who agree with conservatives, Hispanic people who agree, tell, tell them they are vile, vicious, racist, that this country is terrible. They're, the ideology being pushed in these schools is the ideology of Nike. You're going to make more Nikes. America's a terrible, rotten place and we got to overcome it. We got to hate ourselves and we got to suck up to China. This is the kind of stuff, you know, now they're trying to deny. They're saying the people who are pushing all of these various critical studies, you know, blackness studies, whiteness studies, critical race theory, all of these guys, they're, they're not really saying that whites are terrible and whiteness is evil and all whites are racist. They are. Here, here is Ibram Kendi. Ibram Kendi is the most famous one of these race hustlers probably in the country today. Here he is on CBS News calling all whites racist. I mean, as, as Robin, you know, talked about, it, 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 it is critical for, for white people, for people uh, in general, to, to stop denying their, their racist ideas, to stop denying the ways in which policies have benefited them, to stop denying their racism, and to realize that actually the heartbeat of racism itself is denial, and the sound of that heartbeat is, I'm not racist. This is the climate change of racial politics, by which I mean climate change, its, its defining quality is that it is unfalsifiable. Any phenomenon can be used and interpreted to justify climate change or to, to be attributed to climate change. It gets colder, climate change, warmer, climate change, stays the same, climate change. This is why it's not a very good scientific theory because you can't you can't disprove it. Well, it's the same thing with this insane racial stuff. What Ibram Kendi is saying is, if white people admit that they're racist, they're racist. If white people deny that they're racist, that's even further proof that they're racist. This is called begging the question. This is what happens when you assume your own conclusion. You begin with the premise, as Ibram Kendi does, that all white people are racist. Therefore, if you admit it, okay, good. Therefore, if you deny it, yep, there you go. Conclusion, all white people are racist. It's not, not a very good argument. W one of the many reasons that sort of thing should not be taken seriously. But that is what is being taught. And I think ordinary Americans of all races are looking at this and saying, no, that's stupid and it's evil and it's destroying our country. And we don't want our kids being poisoned with these idiotic ramblings of a con artist like Ibram Kendi or Robin D'Angelo. And by the way, I say this as a civil rights icon, okay? I don't know if you saw it. I don't know if you were perusing Amazon. But right now, my book, Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds, is the number one book in civil rights and liberties. Uh, right now, it is beating at number two and number three and number four is Ibram Kendi and Robin D'Angelo. But number one is Michael Knowles. And I'm just very pleased that Amazon is finally acknowledging my role as the preeminent civil rights leader in the country. That's good. And so I tell you, I give you permission as people who care about civil rights. Do not listen to Ibram Kendi and Robin D'Angelo. They're the number two and number three recognized civil rights leaders in the country, but I am number one. And so I'm telling you that they are idiots and they are poisoning your children and our country. <laughs> you should not. I hate to be so mean about it, but it's a, it's a crisis. It's a real threat. And so no one should pay attention to their nonsensical ramblings. Hold up. Glad you liked that video. Go check out the whole episode. It's right here. It's called Pay No Attention to the Man Behind the Curtain. You can also get it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, all the places for your audio podcast. And most importantly of all, after you like and subscribe and leave a comment, you can go order my book, Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds. It's the number one book in civil rights right now. I am the number one civil rights leader in the country. Go check it out. I'll see you next time.